My name is Mayank Jain, and I'm the Product Marketing Manager for Azure Digital Apps and Innovation at Microsoft. You can follow me on Twitter as at the rate Mayank J. That's at the rate M-A-Y-U-N-K-J. And I'm Scott Hunter, VP of Product for the Azure Developer Experience Team. If you want to learn more about Azure or reach out, you can always follow me on Twitter as at CoolCSH. We will show you a series of demos that show the journey of how a company can modernize and transform their business with our Azure offerings and share case studies of how our customers are innovating faster and creating more value with Azure. Can't wait to see what you have in store for us, Scott. And that journey begins with a why. Why are so many enterprises modernizing their apps? Over the last few years, the way businesses connect with their customers, partners, and even employees has shifted from physical to digital channels. In many cases, the reason to modernize apps is a competitive necessity. You don't want to be left behind by market forces. In other cases, it is driven by industry regulation and the imperative to use the latest security technology. Modernization is also a compelling way to shed capital expenditure and reduce your costs by becoming nimbler in how you use those available resources. Organizations have different reasons to modernize, but everyone is in on it. But one of the many reasons why many projects do not achieve targeted outcomes is this mismatch between business needs on one hand and technology chosen. Over 50% of the developers are outside the tech industry. They're great at building apps, but instead, if we expect them to be fluent in a cloud native skill set, it simply adds delay and churn to the modernization project. And when organizations try to manage all these conflicting priorities by themselves, security often ends up getting pushed out as an afterthought. But we all know, all it takes is one breach to push the project back by weeks or even months. At a time when cybersecurity is hitting an inflection point, it is getting harder every day for organizations to build and maintain a full security team, let alone one with the ever-expanding skill set required to meet, meet the range of today's security. Few enterprises, if any, are operating a greenfield operation with a blank check to innovate and accelerate. They need to work with, through, and around existing systems and applications that are a core asset for the smooth operation of the business. While many technologies are designed with cloud native or SaaS apps in mind, today we are going to really address what about the majority of apps that were originally written for the enterprise and not written for the cloud. We'll explore ways to not only modernize successfully, but leapfrog those applications and expectations in order to stay competitive. And of course, to do all that while keeping costs down. We had the opportunity to speak with one of our customers and hear how did they navigate some of these challenges. I'd now like to share with you my conversation with Sahil Gupta, Senior Vice President and Head of Application Development for the National Basketball Association in the USA. Welcome to Microsoft Ignite, Sahil. Good to have you here. Hey, Mayank. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Hey, so Sahil, as basketball fans, we have all experienced the magic of NBA, both inside the arena and then on television, especially as you adopted to stream during the pandemic. Can you tell us a little bit about the priorities for NBA as you began this app modernization journey and some of the challenges you faced? Yeah, for us, uh, it's it has always been about uh, you know looking at our, the consumers of our products as this new generation of consumers who are used to the best of the best experiences that the web has to offer. So it's constantly about how do we minimize the differentiation between an in-arena experience and a not an in-arena experience. Uh, we, we have extended this mentality as we think of our staff, players, fans, team staff, and this has been uh, quite a mind shift for our engineering staff as well. So as we build our products, you know, the the pandemic offered the opportunity for us to take some of our applications into the cloud and to provide these digital experiences in real time to our customer. So the cloud, uh, the acceleration of the cloud move of our applications really helped us with uh, achieving a lot of that. And obviously with digital wall and such, we were able to give really cool experiences to our fans as well. Yes, yes. So there are quite a few benefits, as you know, to moving to the cloud with Azure. 
But just for the benefit of our customers watching out there who are contem contemplating their own move to the cloud, what are some of the ben benefits that you get, you realize through the app and data modernization? Yeah, I, I think you, you know typically what you see is the the value of a cloud move being associated with things like cost, uh, scale, infrastructure, security, reliability, high availability, and such. But I'll tell you the number one thing for us uh, from a cloud move perspective has been driving innovation within the organization, the ability for folks to be able to quickly spin up resources, you know, do uh, you know do a quick cycle of uh, uh, you know, a hypothesis proving, if you may, and then to come back with an answer on, you know, what path might be the right path for uh, for a particular product or service, you know, that has been invaluable as far as we are concerned. That's brilliant. So now that you've gone through this process, you've, you've learned some lessons, is there anything you want to share, you know, with our audience to, to help them prepare for their journey? The, the thing that I would definitely ask the audience to watch out for is, uh, you know, the the management of cloud resources. I think that is something that is is painstakingly difficult and uh, has been typically because, you know, that is an aspect that is less looked out for. So I'd say, you know, uh, you know, just make sure that as you make your move into the cloud, you proactively think about how you're going to manage those resources that are so easy to spin up in the cloud, but organizations typically don't have the discipline of shutting them down and uh, you know keep on incurring those costs. For us, a process automation around resource utilization has been really an effective tool that has helped us manage uh, you know, our cloud costs. And uh, there's a lot of artifacts, there's a lot of tooling that is available from Microsoft, uh, specifically Microsoft Azure to, to, to support with that. So that's something that, uh, you know, has definitely uh, to be looked at. Uh, but besides that, I think the benefits, you know, the cost, the scale, the infrastructure, the security, you know, we are now a product engineering organization that cares and is most uh, sensitive to building the right product for our customers, as opposed to having to worry about the base infrastructure layer, which Microsoft Azure takes care of for us. I love that. Yes, absolutely. So, so finally, Sahil, everyone talks of data as the new fuel. Can you can you talk a little bit about how NBA leverages Azure data to provide richer experiences to customers? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, data is important to the NBA. It is important to everybody who's in the digital space at this point of time. We took it upon ourselves to uh, to start on a journey whereby we would be able to provide much richer experiences to our customers uh, in the future through data centralization. That's when we built what is now called our EDA our enterprise data architecture. We vetted this enterprise data architecture with industry leading data management firms, including Microsoft. Uh, and uh, you know, over the course of the last two years, we've been on a journey to centralize all of the NBA data in, in the Microsoft Azure cloud. Uh, and this has put us in a driver's position around being able to effectively use the data to our advantage. We can now do things that were previously unimaginable, and what insights we can draw from the data are limited purely by the power of our imagination. Uh, from a technology and organization perspective, the data exists and is waiting for the right analysis to be done uh, done on that data. And we have created several machine learning models on this data already to draw key insights for our business, you know, through churn models and propensity models and such. But there will be the potential to do exponential exploration on this data in the days to come. Thank you so much, Sahil, for, for talking to us today. Uh, I, I really appreciate all these valuable insights, as I'm sure our audience will as well. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me, Mayank. It was great. What I found fascinating in this conversation with Sahil is how the NBA's modern app tech strategy was driven by clear business goals. Visit aka.ms slash digital leaders for other stories from customers who have been leading this change in their own organizations. Whether it is the Environmental Protection Agency of a state in Nigeria or a dental services startup in Japan, manufacturing plants in Europe or over 95% of the Fortune 500 companies, no matter how big or small your organization is or what part of the world you're in, you will find someone like you using Azure's managed application platform services.
To further accelerate your deployments, there is a worldwide army of highly specialized Microsoft partners that can not only provide you with best practices, but also help reduce costs and find environmentally sustainable outcomes throughout the project lifecycle. We found five benefits of modernizing with Azure platform services that are fairly common across many customers. This is not an exhaustive list, but it helps us understand what capabilities to look for and what strategic choices to make if you want to achieve similar outcomes. The first is to do more with less and reduce IT spend. In a fully managed hosting service model like Azure Pass, customers pay a fee to the cloud vendor who then hosts and manages everything servers, networks, storage, operating system software, databases, development tools, everything on their behalf. In fact, a recent study by GigaOM found that it is more profitable to deliver new products and higher value customer experiences using Azure Pass compared to doing it all by yourself. Organizations gain up to 54% saving compared to on-premises infrastructure and up to 35% cost saving compared to other cloud providers. Avoid overkill that runs up unnecessary costs and risk where it is not justified by the business case. Mitigate skill shortage by using readily available technologies. Security and performance is a close second. For innovation to happen, people must feel safe. Multi-led security is foundational to the Azure platform. Microsoft has more than 3,500 cybersecurity professionals and spends a billion dollars annually on security to help protect, detect, and respond to threats so that you can grow a safe and secure business. When you enable non-security experts to easily incorporate security and compliance in AppDev using managed cloud security, you not only reduce your security spending, but also increase uptime for your apps. Customers reward app reliability and trust with increased loyalty and stickiness. As applications are moved to the cloud, the ability to connect them to databases and other resources becomes a key factor in driving the reduced costs and increased innovation. Enterprise integration helps create a modern application development environment that connects the enterprise to customers, suppliers, and other stakeholders. Ultimately, Exposing the data broadly, secure it, securely, and at scale makes it possible to derive new insights from data and helping companies thrive in a rapidly changing business environment. This is the power and promise of integration and why it is a critical success criteria for app modernization. The next priority in any cloud-first strategy is to keep costs down and maximize revenue with a cloud partner who can keep up with the volume who's able to scale up and scale down as the demand fluctuates. With Azure, you will power your app on an enterprise-grade hosting platform that serves over 2 million sites, processes over 41 billion requests, and over 9 trillion SQL database queries per day. With a 99.95% enterprise SLA and scale in over 60 regions globally, Azure Managed Services ensures your apps are available where and when your customers need them. And finally, App innovation is why we are all here. Developers are most productive when they work with the language of their choice, such as .NET, Java, Node.js, and Python, running either on Windows or Linux. Azure Managed Platform supports dedicated tools in Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code to streamline the work of creating, deploying, and debugging. Then you can quickly add services and capabilities, including managed MySQL, PostgreSQL, and SQL databases, or performance monitoring and secrets management. Create rich, more personalized exp experiences for your customers and your employees with machine learning and AI. Since it is a cloud-based managed service, there is no need for your developers to worry about the setup and maintenance of the infrastructure, networking, or even the software licenses. When developers are not spending time on these routine, non-productive IT tasks, it creates that environment where innovation can thrive. So Scott, what other insights can you share about why modernizing with PaaS gives customers a competitive advantage? Yeah, we see customers modernizing their applications to gain the benefits offered by the cloud. Resiliency, scalability, security, operation excellence, and more. Ultimately, customers get to reduce their time to realize value and build complete engineering systems within minutes. By enabling companies with modern application development and DevOps, you can set up engineering systems in just a few hours and be ready to go. 
a traditional enterprise needs to take almost a month to get an app environment up and running, while a top tech company takes around two weeks. You might think that setting this up is just a one-time thing, but developers do this all the time to investigate bugs, learn new areas of tech, or onboard new employees. By enabling developers, we get to achieve business objectives faster, making developers happy, leading to overall productivity improvements. We draw this view for you to see the typical end-to-end -end customer monetization journey. We are using a fictional company, Contoso, a corporation with many applications and data centers for their production environment for our demos. They want to minimize overhead and enhance productivity. To start the journey, Azure Migrate offers application discovery and assessment that scans all the apps and determines which hosting options are the best to start migrating the apps. Next up, customers will typically customize the hosting options depending on their needs. In this case, we'll talk about how they modernize .NET apps and Java apps with app service and Spring apps. And for the existing applications, customers tend to lift and shift them directly into VMs in the cloud, but that might not be the best option. We offer a better way by connecting them and streamlining the workflows with Logic apps, and finally, integrating everything via API management to manage and securely expose their APIs. First, we'll talk about Azure Migrate for app service that helps modernizing existing applications. This tool provides discovery, assessment, migration, first scanning the entire web landscape at your data center, providing detailed reports and analysis for our migration blockers, determines the cost for post-migration operations, and finally does that migration for you. Let's see a demo by Gaurav of how we can help Contoso migrate their assets. Hello everyone, my name is Gaurav Seth and I'm a program manager on Azure App Services. Now, Contoso has a subsidiary called Parts Unlimited and this is an ASP.NET web application. And I'll demo how to migrate this web application to Azure App Services using Azure Migrate. Now, the first step in migration is to go ahead and download Azure Migrate Appliance and initiate discovery. Once the discovery is complete, we give you the list of all the IS web servers and the associated infra details. Now, we also give you a list of individual web applications which are deployed to these IS web servers. Now, once the discovery is complete, the next step is to go ahead and initiate an assessment. Now you can start an assessment by choosing the Azure App Services option and edit the properties of the assessment as needed. Now you can even target your assessment uh, and migration for App Services environment. Now I've already created an assessment. What this assessment displays is the list of web applications categorized as ready, which means they are ready for migration as is, ready with conditions, meaning after migration, you may need to make some changes, and web applications which are not yet ready for migration. Now, in addition to the uh, categorization and readiness checks for the web application, we also give you a monthly cost estimate. Now, once the assessment is complete, you basically go ahead and kickstart the migration by clicking on the replicate option. Now over here, you basically go ahead and select uh, the option as ASP.NET Web Applications targeting App Services Core. You select the virtualization as VMware and select the assessment from where you want to migrate the web application. Now I will go ahead and choose an existing resource group, choose the location. And then on the next screen, I will select the web applications that I want to migrate. Now, if I want to migrate any web application with ready with conditions, I should change the will migrate flag to yes. Now, once this is done, we give you a list of app services plans which will be created. I can edit the name of the plan or even change the pricing tier if needed. And on this screen, we give you the summary of the entire migration flow. And if you want, you can download that as a CSV and then kickstart the migration. Now you can see the Parts Unlimited web application is successfully migrated to Azure App Services. Now, once your web application is migrated to Azure App Services, we provide you 
plenty of options to modernize your web application. Example, you can set up uh, custom auto scale rules, or you could simply uh, run a risk assessment using diagnose and solve experience. Thanks for watching the demo. Thanks, Gaurav. Next up, we'll talk about .NET modernization using App Service. App Service offers single and multi-tenant deployment options for you to use in different scenarios. In the next demo, Jordan will introduce you to App Service Environment V3, a fast and cost-effective single-tenant optimized service to run your apps securely and at scale. Hi, my name is Jordan Selig, and I'm a PM with Azure App Service. For customers modernizing their apps, but might still require isolation and must still meet certain compliance standards, App Service Environment is a great solution. For the demo today, let's see how Contoso, a highly regulated large enterprise that has a number of applications using various runtimes, can modernize their app stack with App Service to host their apps in an isolated single tenant environment called App Service Environment V3. Let's get right into it and deploy an App Service Environment V3 in the Azure portal. We select the appropriate subscription and resource group and choose a globally unique name for the environment. This name will be part of the default domain for all apps hosted on the same environment. Then we choose the proper networking settings for the environment. We have the option to use either a private IP inside our virtual network or a public address. Customers typically use the external version with a public address when they need scaling capabilities beyond what the public multi-tenant app service can provide. However, the majority of customers use the internal version of app service environment to take advantage of the isolation and compliance features. For our company, Contoso, since security is our top priority and we require isolation from other customers, we will go with the internal version. Moving on to the hosting tab, Here's where deployment options are configured. Zone redundancy is available, which can help increase the availability of your apps. Next, select the virtual network and subnet the environment gets deployed into. Because the environment is deployed into our virtual network, the apps that are hosted in our environment inherit all the security and isolation that we've configured for the virtual network. Therefore, all of our network security is external to our apps. We control all of the network settings, and nothing is needed on the individual apps. This is extremely powerful when it comes to security or compliance reviews. At this point, we can add any needed tags and then create the environment. Let's now jump ahead and deploy an app to our new app service environment, V3. Deploying an app here is very similar to deploying one to the public multi-tenant app service, so we'll focus on the key difference. When we go to pick a region, we select our app service environment v3 instead of one of the standard Azure regions. All of the traditional regions are shared multi-tenant systems with thousands of other customers. And while your workloads on them are secure and isolated, you'll land on a deployment with other customers. This is the key difference that makes using an app service environment our unique single tenant offering. And finally, to validate that we have configured a secure, isolated environment, where our apps can only be accessed from inside our corporate network, as you can see, attempting to access our app over the public internet is not possible. However, when I use a virtual machine that is located inside our corporate network, I can indeed reach our app. All right, Contoso is now up and running with their isolated single tenant environment hosting all of their apps. That's all for today's demo. Thanks, Jordan. Let's look at another example of a customer that used app service. To improve performance and reduce time to market for their customer-related apps, Jotun employed an app modernization approach for nine on-premise apps. Jotun leveraged app service to refactor apps and scale them all independently. Use of app service deployment slots minimizes downtime during updates and facilitates traffic redirection. Azure resources are built and deployed through a new Azure DevOps-based pipe pipeline. All nine apps were in production in nine months in addition to related dev, test, and QA environments. Software upgrades take five to 10 minutes with no unplanned downtime. Next up, we'll talk about Java and the service that we work together with VMware to enable Azure Spring apps. Many customers have complex Java deployments running in production, and Azure Spring apps helps them modernize Spring Boot apps with a managed Spring Boot runtime 
as a platform as a service. In this next demo by Tony, Contoso used Azure Spring Apps to help enhance operation efficiency by offloading infrastructure management overhead and moving their Spring Apps to Azure smoothly. Hello, my name is Tony Yang, and I'm a program manager of Azure Spring Apps. Today, I'm going to show you how to take your Spring Boot apps from virtual machines onto ASA and save you significant effort in maintenance. Our customer Contoso has an online retail website, which is implemented as a set of six microservices, including three written in Spring Boot. Contoso used Docker Compose to manage such containerized applications on their virtual machines, but as their business grows, the IT team can hardly keep up with the scaling and maintenance of the infrastructure. They consider using Kubernetes for more automation, but the complexity of YAML files dragged them down. One day, they discovered Azure Spring Apps and found they can enjoy out-of-box monitoring, auto-scaling, and manage components for Spring orchestration. And with simple configurations, they can link their apps to other Azure hosted services. Contoso found their applications can be migrated to Azure Spring Apps without any code changes. They just need to provision the resources on ASA and deploy the apps, then migrate the dependencies later. When provisioning the ASA service instance, Contoso chooses the enterprise here. It is a joint effort by VMware and Microsoft, and it hosts the powerful Tanzu components. All applications are deployed with source code instead of container images for both Spring Boot and non-Java apps. Now the fitness store website is running on Azure Spring Apps, and the Contoso IT team does not have to worry about the infrastructure anymore. To monitor the apps, the Contoso IT team can simply use the Azure tools out of box. They can search for logs of the managed components on log analytics, find dependencies of apps to resources on application map, and watch live metrics on application insights. But Contoso is also able to use third-party monitoring tools with simple configurations. Finally, they have set up CI-CD pipelines with GitHub Actions. Azure Spring Apps continues to help our customers with more diverse workloads. Recently, we have added support for gRPC, WebSocket, RSocket, Ingress Timeout, and Session Affinity to make your options more flexible. Try Azure Spring Apps today with our free monthly grant. Thanks, Tony. I want to talk about one of our large Java customers. Bosch built a global supply chain management solution to help logistics specialists and supply chain managers bring transparency by tracking multimodal transport along the supply chain. With this global scale system, Bosch has a goal to move away from maintaining their own infrastructure to realize value faster. By adopting the managed services in Azure, such as Azure Spring Apps and Azure SQL Database, they're able to modernize their Java-based IoT apps to production with the scalability within a short amount of time. Within weeks, they were able to get the service up and running without worrying about managing Kubernetes or cluster downtime. Next up, we'll talk about how to modernize your workflows and your APIs and connect to your existing applications within Azure. Integrating with existing workflows is another criteria for modernization. This is where Logic Apps comes in handy. You can create connections with your existing systems with serverless solutions on Azure. The low code drag and drop design experience helps anyone create connections easily with more than 800 line of business and SaaS connectors built in to the service. You can connect to any commercial application securely. And the enterprise grade security and governance capabilities help you shape up a compliant foundation. Kent will show you how to use Logic Apps to create and streamline workflows. Hi, my name is Kent Weir, and I'm a PM on the Azure Logic Apps team. I'm here to demonstrate how Contoso can go ahead and expose legacy system functionality to other parts of the enterprise. We are now in the Logic Apps Designer in the Azure portal, and we're taking a look at a developed workflow. Now, within this workflow, we've got an HTTP trigger which has been provided. This will allow other systems to easily consume our interface, including Azure API Management. Since security is top of mind for our organization, we can use easy auth and IP restrictions to secure our interface by reducing the surface area in which it can be called. Next in our workflow is a scope. 
We're going to use this scope to model tri-catch semantics to ensure we have robust air handling. Within our tri-scope, we're going to go ahead and make a call to our legacy discount system using the SQL Server connector. We will connect to this system over a private network to ensure of additional security. Now, when we call our legacy discount system, we're going to get a response back. And the response is going to take us down one of three logic paths. The logic path that we're going to focus on today is when we have an active discount code. Now, when we have an active discount code, we need to be able to calculate the total value of the discount itself. And we're going to be able to do so using the inline code action found inside of Azure Logic Apps. This allows us to write inline JavaScript that we can then perform calculations, shape messages, and perform lightweight data transformation. Now, much like any Logic App action, we can take advantage of dynamic content that we can pass values in from previous steps in our workflow. Similarly, we can go ahead and use outputs from our inline code actions and use this information to send a response back to our consuming application. So let's now flip over to Postman where we can go ahead and test our logic app. We are now in Postman and we can go ahead and send in a message and check out our response. And when we do so, we'll see that we now have a discount value and a net total. With our logic app tested, we can now provide the connectivity details to other applications such as Azure API Management so that we can reuse this capability across the enterprise. Kafka Corporation is China's largest food and agricultural business corporation. Like many fast growing companies, Kafka International's data is spread across systems, businesses, regions, and was hosted in many business groups and overseas data centers. The company decided to consolidate its data collection and storage solutions with Azure Logic Apps and Azure Functions. They have successfully connected the agricultural commodities data hosted in regional data centers and their on-premise ERP systems to Azure, enabling them to make decisions faster and provide better visibility with improved analytics capabilities. And the most important integration tool, APIs. Companies now use APIs to securely integrate across all their applications. Azure API Management offers a simple management plane to publish and manage APIs securely with authentication and governance policies built in. Its backend is also integrated natively with Azure with multiple protocol support for you to use in any scenario. APIs are the front and center of every application. API Management helps you build the facade for your application portfolio. Let's see this demo by Simon. Hi everyone, this is Simon Kurtz. I'm an App Innovation Cloud Solution Architect here at Microsoft. Today, I'm going to show you how Azure API Management can provide a secure, uniform, and interactive API presence. The three APIs in my API Management Portal are all implemented differently. Customer Information with App Service, Discount Calculator with Logic Apps, and Shipments with Serverless Functions. Every API can be individually governed by more than 50 policies for aspects such as security and manipulation of requests and responses. It's important to know that while these three APIs all feature Azure services, you can easily tie into multi-cloud third-party or on-premise services as well. APIs can quickly be imported via the Open API standard. And not only can you use REST APIs, but we also support SOAP, WebSocket, and GraphQL APIs. Additionally, you have access to an extensive API dashboard that centrally illustrates your API usage. For instance, you can see metrics such as requests over time, specific APIs, operations, and requests being invoked. Now that you've seen how API management abstracts backend APIs, let's take a look at what an API caller sees. The API management developer portal gives you a user interface that enables discovery and testing of your APIs with little to no code. And this is particularly empowering for users that are not programmers. Let's specifically look at the discount calculator to show how a request and response move through API management. Once inside the discount calculator API, we can get additional information both about the API as well as the available methods. We can also download the API definition in any of the formats that we desire. Let's go ahead and try out the set discount method. In order to call this API successfully, we need to add an authorization header with appropriate credentials. We also need to add a payload in the body to determine whether a discount is applicable for this order. Here you can see the 200 OK response, 
And for discount code FALL2022, you can see that we have a discount value of 150, bringing the new total down to 850. Any enterprise can benefit from integrating Azure API management into their architecture. This is especially beneficial for cloud migrations because you can establish a cloud-based API facade and then completely transform your backend APIs with little to no impact to your API consumers. Today you saw how Azure API management empowers you to seamlessly integrate enterprise applications with APIs in a modern, secure, and easy approach. This is Simon Kurtz. Thanks for watching. Buildings material company CMEX created a cloud-based information platform, CMEX Go, to support its globally distributed business. CMEX Go, a large-scale web and mobile application, is based on Azure services. CMEX customizes API management to optimize business process, which connected the CMEX SAP ERP system and leveraged cloud-based DBaaS offerings, Azure SQL Database, and Azure Cosmos DB. Using API management as the center of all applications and data has fast-tracked their business processes, such as sales ordering, invoicing, and delivery to amplify productivity for their global sales ecosystem. So Mayank, does that answer your question? We've just shown how managed Azure Pass services, such as App Service, Spring Apps, Logic Apps, and API management helps our customers achieve their business goals and realize time to value faster. As you go down the application modernization journey, we're here for you. Thank you, Scott. You and your team have made a compelling case for us in a very short time. Now let me point our viewers to where they can dig deeper to learn more and what other resources are available to them. The Azure Migration and Modernization Program, or AMP, is our flagship partner program to help reduce your migration costs with unique offers and incentives based on your needs and wherever you are in the journey. Visit azure.com slash AMP, that's azure.com slash A-M-M-P, where you can sign up for a self-guided assistance or get matched with expert Azure migration partners. You will get technical training for your uh, best practices, uh, resources, and support at every stage with a proven approach, unique cost-saving offers, and step-by-step -step cloud migration guidance from a worldwide community of Azure engineers and experts. As the next step, you have several resources from Azure to help you shape your technology, business, and people strategies and achieve the best business outcomes through your cloud adoption effort. Work with your Microsoft representative or partners to schedule an envisioning workshop to conduct assessments of your app estate and kick off a pilot deployment with the help of our specialized app modernization partners through the Azure Migration and Modernization Program. You also have access to the Cloud Adoption Framework, something we often refer to as CAF, which brings together cloud adoption best practices from Microsoft employees, partners, and customers. The framework provides landing zones, templates, and guides to help your modernization projects succeed with minimum cost and effort. This was a quick tour of the latest Azure app and data modernization features and services. There is a lot more to learn, and I strongly encourage you to bookmark the Apps on Azure blog page, where you can keep up with the latest information on new features, pricing updates, and migration tools. Hopefully that gives you a better understanding of the different ways Azure Pass helps you do more with less and gain a competitive advantage for your business. Partner with the Azure Managed Services to streamline costs and use readily available skills, generate trust and customer loyalty with inbuilt industry-leading platform security from Azure, Easily integrate your internal and external stakeholders in the modernization journey. Get maximum scale without ever having to worry about over-provisioning or under-provisioning the resources. And when you offload all these routine operations to Azure, your developers can instead use that time to innovate more and build value for your business. And don't forget to check out the other app innovation theme sessions to learn more about the latest developments in low code, containers, serverless, database, and infrastructure technology. On behalf of our team, we thank you for your time today. Please share your feedback to help us improve and bring ever more relevant content in the future. Have a great Ignite.